Psalm 27 verse 1 to 14 through the Bible Psalm 27 part 1 theme prayer this is a deeply spiritual psalm and one that is very familiar to many of God's people the moment you read the first verse your face will probably light up with recognition it divides itself naturally into two major divisions the first 6 verses speak of the provision God makes for the encouragement and confidence of his own. The remainder of the psalm is a prayer for help and sustenance. It is not a psalm for the super-duper saints, but has a message for many hearts and lives. It is a prayer of David and opens on this grand note. Foundation for Prayer The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? Psalm 27 verse 1 This again is a he and me psalm. The Lord is my light and my salvation. He is my light. He is a holy God. He is the one who directs and guides me by the light of his word. Later the psalmist will say, Thy word is a lamp unto my feet, and a light unto my path. Psalm 119 verse 105 he is my salvation, which speaks of the love of God, because it was His love that provided a salvation for us. That salvation, of course, is only through Jesus Christ. For God so loved the world, that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in Him should not perish, but have everlasting life. John 3 verse 16 God didn't so love the world that He saved the world. God so loved the world that He provided a salvation for sinners. And we have to come to Him on that basis. That salvation is conditioned, as Simon Peter put it, There is none other name under heaven given among men, whereby we must be saved. Acts 4 verse 12 This is the same salvation that David is talking about. The Lord is my light and my salvation, my light, my salvation. The Lord is the strength of my life. God not only gives life, He also empowers us to live that life on earth. Is He the light of your life, the one who loves you and gives you strength, my friend? Of whom shall I be afraid? John Knox said, One with God is a majority. When Cromwell was asked why he did not fear anyone, he said, I have learned that if you fear God, you have no one else to fear. When the wicked, even mine enemies and my foes, came upon me to eat up my flesh, they stumbled and fell. Psalm 27 verse 2 David was probably looking back upon that time of his life when he was in much danger. He started out as a shepherd boy, and his life was in danger when he protected his sheep from a lion and a bear. That is something that a person does not do every day. I don't know about you but I just don't meet a lion or a bear very often. When I do, they are on the other side of a cage. But there are people like lions and bears walking our streets today, many of them seeking to devour us. Also there is that old lion spoken of in 1 Peter 5 verse 8, Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about, seeking whom he may devour. Though an host should encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. Though war should rise against me, in this will I be confident. Psalm 27 verse 3 David's confidence was in God, and this is the provision that God has made for his own today. Have you ever noticed that every time the Lord Jesus would break through to speak to his apostles after his resurrection he would say, Fear not? You and I have a resurrected Savior. Fear comes to us many times. I have a natural fear of heights, and when I am flying in that big bus in the sky, I say to the Lord, You are with me. My confidence is in you.